Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to Cute Life Hacks. This time I'm filming with Lisa from the German channel as Hi. well. And today we're going to test out this 3D face mask printing machine. So I first saw this on Instagram. There was a video that went completely viral and it was sold out instantly and it was really hard to find. However, um, I wrote to banggood.com, which you guys know from my other videos, and they actually decided to stock this. So if you want to get it, then I've included the link down below, and I can't wait to see how this works. So excited to try it out. Let's go. <laughs> so the first thing you see are these collagen tablets, and I think this is the actual secret how the face masks come together because this is a kind of jelly-like substance and when you mix it with juice and water it solidifies into a face mask so here you've just got a whole bag of collagen tablets and this is the instruction book and it's crazy how many recipes they give you there are so many different recipes that you can make with fruit juice you can make it with milk with tea with soy milk and it even has rice washing water. So when you rinse off your rice, like all the starch and proteins in there is apparently very good for your skin. Okay, so now for the actual machine. This is how it looks like. And I think it's very cute, very nicely designed. You put the juice and the water in here and it comes out the bottom. And you need a template, which is this. It looks like a face. It looks like a really stretched out emoji. And you put the template here and the liquid basically comes out the top. And the last thing you get is a little measuring cup. So now we set everything up and we're ready to go. Let's plug this in. Welcome to your smart fruit facial mask machine. Hi machine. <laughs> Talk to Please appear water. <laughs> it's the Alexa of like <laughs> face mask makers. And water. So the first mask we decided to make was a smoothie one. Lisa's talking German right now, which is why you're going to get my voiceover. The first thing you have to do is measure 60 milliliters of water and add it to the machine. We were still tripping over the fact that it actually talks to you and you can even tell when which ingredient has been added. Please add the nutrient solution. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the next step is to measure out 20 milliliters of smoothie or juice or any other liquid of your choice. Please add the nutrient solution. Please add collagen peptide and press start button. Wow. And the final step is to add a collagen pill. These are actually sold everywhere in pharmacies or health food shops. So even if you run out, it's very easy to find replacements. Then we put the lid back on and press the start button. Right away, the machine is starting to make a buzzing noise and it feels like it's heating up all the ingredients. We weren't quite sure how long this was going to take and it turned out it was about five minutes. <gasps> okay. Oh <laughs> so the face mask was super warm when it came out of the machine and it smelled amazing just like the strawberry smoothie that we used. It took a few more minutes for the mixture to solidify and you can tell when this happens because the surface suddenly turns very cool to touch. It almost feels like you're touching a jelly that just came out of the fridge. At this point, you can start taking it off the template. Keep it into one place. I'm gonna try to... It's so... It's so slippery. I'm gonna have to take this off and like straight into my face. Apart, like completely. <laughs> okay, so I think I have to lie completely flat. So this first face mask actually turned out really nice, but I didn't realize how fragile it was. So unfortunately, it broke before I was able to test out properly. For the next one, we decided to be a bit seasonal and make a face mask using pumpkin spice latte. Just like before, we added some water first, followed by pumpkin spice latte, plus a collagen pill, and then started the machine. Please pure water. Please add collagen peptide and press start button. Please wait while processing. 
The heated up liquid that came out of the machine smelled exactly like pumpkin spice and it was amazing. I noticed that this mixture tends to set quite quickly, so you have to take this tool and pop all the air bubbles before it turns solid. As soon as the surface feels cold to touch, then you can lift it off the template. <laughs> so the pumpkin spice latte um, face mask actually well, it was very refreshing. I feel like my skin is really moist. <laughs> I think um, it basically works because there's a lot of water and there's a lot of collagen and that's what gives yeah. moisture to your skin. So when you're wearing it, well, when you have it on, it feels really nice and cold. It's so moisturizing. It feels like your whole face is like in water. Yeah, it's like in water. Exactly. It feels like water all over it. Which is really great. And the 20% of whatever you put inside is just for color and scent. So in this case, we put pumpkin spice latte <laughs> inside and incredibly, this looks and smells just like pumpkin spice latte. You can even see the small pieces of spice or cinnamon from the coffee inside the face mask. So even though this does contain sugar, I think everything gets so diluted with water that it doesn't feel at all sticky when you put it on your skin. We did notice that the first two face masks were very fragile and we thought it might have something to do with the liquid that we used. So now we decided to try something a bit different. Okay, so the next one I'm going to make is a ginger ale face mask. And I absolutely love ginger ale, so I can't wait to try this one out. Since this one is a completely clear liquid, we thought it should work much better than the other two, which contained a lot of protein and sugar. Please add collagen peptide and press start button. This one definitely came out a lot smoother and there were barely any air bubbles. This reminds me a lot of my edible YouTube play button tutorial, which I've linked right here because that was also made using a ginger ale jelly. This mask feels so funny on your skin. It's really cold, but it's very moisturizing. It's definitely a lot more stable than the first two masks, so I think the collagen works best with thin liquids. It's basically completely transparent and it also doesn't smell that strongly of ginger ale. I think this is a fun little machine that lets you get very creative with your beauty routine. It's very easy to use and clean and would make a really unique Christmas present for a beauty obsessed friend or relative. If you want to get this, then I've included the shopping link and a huge discount code in the description box below. For the final face mask, Lisa insisted on trying ketchup because we just wanted to see what could actually work with this machine. So we added all the ingredients as usual and let the machine heat up for 5 minutes. When the mixture came out, it was super thick and actually started solidifying before it covered the whole template. So we had to quickly grab a random tool and fill up all the gaps. Okay, so now we've made the ketchup face mask. And Lisa is not convinced because she says it smells really gross. It smells so gross, guys. You don't want to like... Please press start button to clean. It's disgusting. I, the thing is, this smells exactly like the tomato sauce you get in Heinz spaghetti or canned ravioli. It smells like ketchup mixed with acid. It's just disgusting. <laughs> like who would ever... like? So this wasn't the best face mask ever made. It literally looks and smells like baked bean sauce. However, luckily, Lisa didn't even have to try it on because it broke when we tried to take it off the template. I think ketchup is simply too thick or too acidic to work with a collagen peptide. So thank you guys so much for thank watching. Thank you! We hope you enjoyed our face mask fails. <laughs> and by the way, for all the people living in Germany, Austria and Switzerland, we're actually running a giveaway for this machine. So be sure to subscribe to our German channel so you can enter under that video once it comes out. Unfortunately, because of the electrical plug and issues with customs, this giveaway is only open to people living in German countries. This is Joanna, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!